This is an immortal simulation. It cannot be avoided. For hermeticism, you must master speech and thinking to be equal to the immortals. You are not ready to leave this simulation if you frantically cling to the mortal self. This simulation cultivates the eternal who has mastered discernment by shedding all the illusions and lies of this world and divine creative imagination, as the divine builds kingdoms by imagination alone. Energy can only change form according to the first law of thermodynamics. Thus, your soul, consciousness, never dies. In this simulation, the cable of the fallen ones has convinced us that we are minuscule specks of stardust being thrown around in the universe of infinity, meaning we have no significance. A superb method to lower an immortal to the fallen. These fallen ones chose this earth as their home, not because God condemned them. They are worldly because they don't value transcendence. Christ declared, I am not of this world. The fallen serve the ego and believe in do what thou wilt. Their deities are self-defecation and carnality. Thus their decisions have estranged them from God. Thus they will stay in this game. Cypher negotiated a bargain with Agent Smith in the Matrix. Do we have a deal, Mr. Reagan? I know this state doesn't exist. I know the Matrix tells my brain it's juicy and wonderful when I eat it. You know what I realize after nine years? Ignorance is bliss. I cannot show the complete clip owing to copyright issues, but I have posted it separately for later viewing. The link is in the description. Cypher contracts with Agent Smith to trade up transcendence for matrix carnality, celebrity, and riches. Selling your soul to the devil entails this. Many Hollywood actors do that, and then they start portraying the demonic, and the mainstream media promotes them and makes them famous. This is why they must dumb down the populace to stay. They don't want the masses to know about this simulation because they require the masses' unconscious souls that are still spiritually connected to the source to actualize their will. The unconscious immortal in the nine to five hamster wheel is still immortal and connected to the source. Our natural state is love and compassion, which inspires divine creativity. However, the fallen ones lack love and compassion, so they require you to exploit these holy qualities to elect them president and deposit all your money in their bank. Income tax is a prime example of cable energy theft. Money is energy exchange. The financial system stems from Babylonian money magic, which devalues everything by producing money. Magic is psychological manipulation. If Satan were a mystical, powerful deity and the Kabul was its allies, we would be chained. The actual God within you protects everyone, thus there is immense freedom here. We are magical immortals with amnesia. The cable cannot enslave us by limiting our options. They need psychological strategies to harness your spiritual power of imagination to establish civilizations and gain your agreement to dominate you with an iron grip. If all the warriors on the battlefield discover who they are and quit, who will fight? What happens if each soldier understands they are cannon fodder and their controllers don't care about their lives, ethnicity, religion, or ideology? The soldier provides the fallen one's great power and the masses unknowingly are puppets in a game of the fallen, forgetting the real game they came here to play. As Neville Goddard so wonderfully stated, God became man so that man may become God. This phrase alone will help you exit the simulation. Becoming more aware of your heavenly love requires shedding your mortal identity. Because of such understanding, you will stop playing cable games and may never return. This isn't soul trap fear propaganda. No soul traps exist. The immortal can only be captured if he believes it. The fallen want you here locked up. This is why they have introduced so many theologies, religions, soul traps, and karma. You're locked here because you won't mature. This world breeds immortals with speech and mind abilities. Only that, 
there is no divine trap to keep you here. The fallen set up the trap because misery loves company. They want to maintain their oppressive empire. An oppressor needs victims to keep oppressing, and your unwitting involvement in their game keeps you here. I recommend seeing my latest video with Neville Goddard on how to escape the simulation. Include the link in the description. Niffle realized, albeit in a theater and drama context, that we live in a marvelous play where your goal is to be born from above, awaken the Christ in your skull. Niffle focused on promise later in life. He emphasized that Father God made the pledge. God became man so that man may become God as promised. You have not been abandoned by God. You will be born from above after living as many lives here as needed to master speech and thought. Soul traps don't exist. Only cause and effect applies. Being here as a sinner or purifier does not have karma or punishment. God doesn't need purification, and an all-loving God won't send a soul to hell to pay its karma. You're the biblical wayward son. You've stumbled and made blunders in life. The father welcomes you back with open arms. The cable uses guilt tripping to make you a sinner so you're never born from above. Sinner, karmic debt, and soul trap hold you here indefinitely because the fallen ones take advantage of all the power and carnal pleasures in this world and call it their home. Again, they chose this over transcendence. It's optional. No God has forced them or you to suffer. A choice. Ignorance is choosing. Not just humans are fallen. The Book of Enoch has watchers. It all fits with my Anunnaki creation video. The fallen are linked by self-defecation. It includes many persons and things. I won't profess to know everything about every person in this game. You only need to know the game, not the players. They just care about ruling the lesser man. Did you realize the Knights Templar secretly worship Baphomet? This is Baphomet. This figure is full of symbolism. First, a goat. Mendes, the goat-headed Egyptian god, represents what? A black snake. Consider the snakes on its tummy. The Baphomet's gut. Assess the snake's belly and surrounding scales. Check the scales below and along the wings discovering the black snake. The snakes cross three times, at their tail, in the middle, and at the head. Heads are what? The top circle is earth. Interesting, look here. The Pope is here. Interesting that he has the same snakes. They cross three times. The Leviathan-like snakes guard the earth's circle. Look at the Pope's cross-topped scepter. That says what? Church governs the world. Lucifer observes the world from the church. The scepter tells you that. Crossing the three snakes denotes the lower three chakras. These are lower three chakra folks. They lack heart, compassion, and empathy. They ignore the spiritual experience of the chakra's upper levels. They care about mortality, blood, Life's carrier and giver is their preoccupation. They love Earth. They love Earth dates, Earth traits, and the universe. After the 2019 virus fraud, I realized the collective truth and began investigating it because it was too big to be my imagination. The powers that be used fear and ignorance to make the public submit to a swindle. The Collective is starting more hateful battles without realizing they are being exploited for ritualistic goals. Study Baal, the sacrifice deity, to understand everything. None of it relates to what you're told. This plan is anti-human. But humans are not waking up to see everyone as you pushed out relates to your personal life, not the Collective. We create the common reality together. Thus, all the fallen ones need to do is manipulate public perception to achieve a certain conclusion and then utilize their imagination to execute the cable's plan. The dentist's imagination victimized Neville, demonstrating this concept. My dentist, who may not remember when he did it, is in this audience tonight. 
I went to him in need of a lot of treatment because I had terrible dentistry in this nation, London and Barbados. I was always moving. I caught tongues in the theater for a week. When I required this work, what could they do? I was packed. Since I lived here, he gave me a full job when I met him. When an anchor tooth fell away, he said casually, if he remembers. When I saw your mouth and did this, I said to myself, this tooth will last 13 years. 13 years. And he said 25. He didn't think I'd live that long. After 13 years, that anchor came out, reshaping my mouth. He started it, remember or not. This is going to last 13 years. He didn't say. No need to tell me. That was his imagination. Only his creativity hurt me. I'm warning you not to take anything lightly. You make morning, noon, and night. Your imagination is God, so your fantasies are God's. Because Neville unconsciously felt the dentist was the authority on his teeth's health, he gave the dentist power, and what the dentist believed became fact. In battles, many victims, the fallen, are imagined. Because the public acquiesce in ignorance to the cable's awful crimes, you can use the law of assumption to get out of any predicament, like Neville did when he was honorably discharged from World War II. The short version of this story is here. Neville fought in World War II for the U.S. Knowing higher spiritual rules, Neville sensed a futility in waging a false war and desired to be honorably discharged. Since it was a world war, they required every man so his discharge application was denied. Neville used the rule of assumption to sleep in his New York bed while physically sleeping in the barracks, about to go to war. Neville escaped World War II honorably after the officer who denied his application changed his mind. He didn't imagine the World War's end, right? He could distinguish between collective and individual reality. This battle was fueled by unfathomable hatred, so one individual can't conceive peace for millions of people who can't understand it. He escaped as countless people in ignorance and cable control suffered. The collective can only be free by awakening to who they are and what they are doing. This is a simulation since your body is an avatar, not your true self. The immortal wears flesh to play mortality and experience manhood. Additionally, the mind can program this reality. A well-known placebo effect shows thought over matter. Jesus said, The God of this world is Satan, which fits Gnosticism. The cable originated with ancient Canaanites who worshipped Baal, the sacrificial deity. Del and Lewis Monroe, an intuitive artist and truth campaigner of DeepStateMappingProject.com, created this graphic showing how the Baal cult spread from one civilization to another including the U.S. Khazars are crucial to the U.S.-European immigration crisis and two active wars. Baal represents Lucifer or Satan. It's hard to say if Satan is a corporeal being who opposes God. Perhaps thinking forms have a being and the devil is a thought form that responds to man's darkness. Satan or Lucifer has also been depicted as an alien. However, there is no opposition to God. However, as the creator of all allows everything under the law of freedom of choice, satanic ideology is allowed, and it is common in power corridors today, dating back to Babylon and possibly earlier. Moloch, Baal, Yabath of Gnosticism, Satan, Lucifer, and the Old Testament God may be the same thought form, other dimensional beings with different names, or a group of entities with the same goal. Many names create the perfect maze for the seeker to become lost in because the devil deceives. However, Satanism is a carnal deceptive doctrine adopted by the fallen. Perversion and lack of transcendence and love are involved. You may ask, why do I still quote the Bible even though I have expressed doubts about its authenticity? Because the Bible's teachings, especially Christ's, come from ancient books. Some originates from Gnosticism and Hermeticism. 
Therefore, the Bible is loaded with spiritual wisdom, but takes a trained mind to distinguish what is real from what the Roman Catholic Church added to retain its political dominance. If you're scared, you're missing the point. This film shows you how powerful and amazing you are and how this world is preparing you for your true inheritance. While in this world, apply the law of assumption to live a fantastic life with whatever you want. If you're new to the channel and unfamiliar with the law of assumption, watch this video next, link in description, to understand it simply. Funny enough, applying the law of assumption speeds up your journey to transcend this place by forcing you to master speech and thinking. Applying the law reveals that your mind is amazing and you are more than a small human. This is when you find your immortal self. But too many people are still trapped, and the collective situation has compelled me to try to wake them up. The individual decides whether to pay attention. However, a mass awakening is underway. Many people are amazed at how rotten the political system is, so I try to get their attention and business. No worries, though. The immortal is fed and protected by source. You can be too, and have anything personally. Law works perfectly. The fallen ones just command the collective, which consents by sleeping. I'm not attempting to save the planet or anyone since only the Eternal can save themselves. This is only to help people who are already seeing a crazy stage show open their eyes. I will show you that you are more than you think, but you must want to.